Good morning. It's Monday morning. Welcome to COVID-19. Bill Howitt here with the Conference Board of Canada. I'm going to continue our journey and our conversation. The purpose of these uh, video blogs are to provide some insights and some ideas to be supportive. Yes, I'm still alone in my apartment uh, going through my same as money view, doing some self-isolation and paying attention to what's going on to be safe as we all do our social distancing, which I've talked about is physical distancing for this period of time. Now, as I started to prepare for today and what I wanted to think about, my idea was this is a new week. We're going to be going, last week was a bit of a week for adrenaline. This is going to be a new week. <clears throat> so I came up with my another mnemonic. I won't always have mnemonics, but I find them for me to organize my ADHD brain for these conversations is to come up with some points that I think may be relevant. This week, I'm gonna use mnemonic called PURE. And when I look at PURE, P-U-R-E, what jumps in my mind at this point in time, what's important for a new week, we're going into week two, many of us, and some of us are gonna just start beginning. So all across the country, people are at different levels. And as governments all start to come together and we all start to do our part, and we all right now, may not feel like we're doing a whole lot. It's like the big whoop in this whole thing is that we all stay home. This doesn't get as bad as it could. And that's really it. So it may feel staying home uneventful, but we're really actually helping to protect our healthcare workers and, and protecting ourselves and other people we care about as we go through this process. Now, for me, the pure starts with P with purpose. This is a new week. And if you look at the research from NASA, one of the things they'll start to educate you on, if you think about people, they're the experts in isolation. One of the most important things for us to be able to deal with uncertain times is one day at a time, but have purpose. This week, it's important each day you wake up with purpose, something that you want to accomplish, want to do, and make sure that you have a plan so that you're actually feeling motivated. So one of my purposes, I get up and I shower, I think I'm up around six o'clock in the morning. I do a little bit of exercise. I do some meditation. And then I start thinking about what do I want to accomplish today? And I start off thinking about this plus the other things I want to do today by staying clear in my intention of where I want to go. That's going to help my mental health. Now, the world's changing. And I, you start to realize more and more people are starting to get the message. And, and in Canada, whether it's the next day, two days, three days, four, five, six, things are going to amplify a little bit before things get better. How long? I don't know. I wish I could tell you. But the you for this week is urgent. And whatever business you need to get done, whatever things that you need to get sorted and organized, do it. Get yourself organized so that if all of a sudden governments and officials said, hey, everybody, we need to stay in our house for three, four, five, six, seven days, or eight days, or 10 days, or 12 or 14, just as a precaution. Now our government's a lot empowering us and there's no need to think that major things are gonna happen. However, make sure your medicines are in place, pay attention, make sure that you have your stores. You don't need to hoard. I mean, the food supply is going to be fine. There's I'm not sure why we're, you know, getting enough toilet paper for six years, but I mean, I can get people, fear can get us sometimes worried. Bottom line is just ensure that your medications and things or paperwork or banking, you're, you're getting your basics done and organized this week. So a little urgency, not panic, urgency. And the R, I'm at walking and I'm going by people <clears throat> and I'm talking to people from afar, keeping my distance. And I go for a couple of walks each day this weekend. And I'm noticing people are a little bit nervous and they kind of, everyone's kind of keeping their head down. And I'm not trying to be weirdo, but I sometimes will wave and say hello and that kind of thing. And just for my social experiment, I want to <clears throat> watch people, how they're coping and dealing. And one of the things I'm becoming clear of is that the R is our respect. I want us to up our respect a little bit, not that we don't have it, but now in times when we're, we get challenged and the stress and the pressure may start to feel like there's closing in on some of us. Today, think about how do we all up our respect a little bit, pulling together in our families, pulling together in our work. I'm amazed when people now get on phone calls. It's wonderful to hear in conference calls and team calls, people are actually asking, how are you doing? And I'm hoping that some of these 
lessons that we have from this pandemic, we can take back in the workplace when things become normal, because this is going to create a new normal and we have an opportunity to do some things. So I really like to encourage people to be mindful about our respect, up our respect and continue it because we're going to need each other. And kindness is a part of showing people the respect they need under pressure. The last one is going to be the E is for energy. I can't tell you how important it's going to be to ensure that you get a nice sleep routine, your nutrition's good, your hydration's good, not too much caffeine, you know, not too much booze or liquor or whatever you want to call it. Just pay attention to your physiology. As if, and I can't say this over enough to people is because our immune system, the more we can build our immune system and get ourselves ready for potentially becoming ill, I know it may sound odd and frightening to think about, but our micro decisions we make today can actually have an impact on our health in case we do get sick. Of course, washing your hands is going to be the critical thing. The energy it takes to wash your hand 20 seconds, I think we can do it. Nice soap and water, ensure that you're taking your time and doing it. And so this is a new week. And what I'd like to kind of kick this week off is being clear that it's a new week. It's pure. Every day is a has an opportunity for some good stuff. There will be some challenges. We can only do this one day at a time. And my belief system is we will as a community and as a country get through this one day at a time. And it only is gonna happen one day at a time. So I'm thinking about you, I'm hoping the best for you and everyone else. I'm staying in touch with my families and I'm, lots of friends are communicating to me. I hope you're doing the same. Pay attention to the little things that you're doing. They really matter in this time and be mindful that this will all be over. It'll be a memory, but we just need to get through this next challenge and it'll take a little bit of energy and time. So with that, have a great day as good as you can, and we'll see you tomorrow. All the best. Take care. Thank you about all of you. Hi, Bill Howitt here. Hopefully you're finding these videos of some value. If you'd like to share these, on the lower right of your video, there's a icon you can click. You can send it through your social media feeds. Join the Conference Board of Canada social media feed so we can keep you up to date. And if you have ideas or suggestions, please leave your comments so we can consider them. If you have things that you'd like us to speak to or talk to, I certainly will try to do all I can to help out. So with that, have a wonderful day.